Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Algebra 2, Lesson 7.4, and it's Rational Equations Part 2. Um, I think for this problem, we're going to start with number 6. Let's do the restriction first, okay? Remember, restriction is values that you're not allowed to have as a solution. And in this situation, you look at the denominators, all right? Look, you have a variable of k in one of the denominators, so k cannot be 0. Um, also, this one, it would be 3k cannot equal to 0, but if you solve for k, you're still going to get the same um, restriction. So either way, you can yell out any number you want for k, you just cannot yell out 0, because if you plug in 0 here, or if you plug in 0 here, um, then it's undefined, okay, because you can't divide by 0, okay? All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, all right, so we're solving for k. I think the best method to use is what we've been doing already, okay, the LCD method. So we're going to find the lowest common denominator um, to solve for k, all right? So you'll look at all three denominators, and if you remember what I said, you're going to include all factors that you see. Well, 3 is a prime factor, I see it, I want it. K is a prime factor, I see it, I want it. And then over here, look, it's 3 and K together, all right? Well, they're already accounted for over there. So the LCD for number 6 is going to be 3K. Once you get the LCD, you're going to multiply all the numerators by 3K. Okay? 3K, 3K, and then one more 3K. You got to make sure you multiply all three terms because there's three terms in this problem. Now, you're not actually going to multiply. You're going to cancel first. That is the name of the game. So see this three that's downstairs in the denominator and this three in the numerator? You're going to drop those babies because it'd be one, and then K times one is K. If you pick the right LCD, you'll lose the fractionness. Okay, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I'm gonna say it. You lose the fractionness, okay? The fractionness, I don't know. Over here, drop those Ks. This is a three and this is a two. That is not 32, that is multiply plus six. Here comes your equal sign. Look how cool over here, 3K and 3K cancels. And so you're only left with 13. And then here's where I'm gonna say it again. Anything we knew, learn new in Algebra 2 always goes back and turns into an equation from August, September. Okay? Actually, this is something you were really used to in Algebra 1. Okay? So solve for k by subtracting 6, subtracting 6, and then k equals um, 7. Okay? Now, before I get too hyper, did I get the restriction? Remember, the restriction was k cannot be 0, so we're good to go, and 7 is a viable answer. Okay? Talk to me about number six. Fun stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. Rational equations. So the good news is we only have one more lesson on this chapter, and then our next uh, chapter will be something completely different, and I think you guys will enjoy that much better. Um, this one's just not very entertaining, this chapter, okay? And it's just difficult for a lot of people. Not fun. All right, let me pick another one, all right? Uh, let's see. I think it was number nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to find y'all number nine. I will zoom this in beautifully for you. Yeah, today I'm going to try my first Zoom conference with you guys. And we'll see how that goes. Um, aha, look at this one. Okay, number nine. So we're going to do the same thing. We're solving for X. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, yeah. I now remember why I picked this one. So if you can factor the denominator, any of the denominators, you need to go ahead and factor it. So this is prime. This is prime. Okay. But this one right here, we can definitely factor. Let me zoom in and see if I can get it stopped from blinking. Let me erase this. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and factor this denominator. All right, there is a GCF. I can pull an X out of both of these and I'll be left with X, X plus four. All right, let me just cross that out. All right, restrictions. Here's an X. X cannot be zero. Look over here, same thing. All right, 
So I'm going to take this one and set it to not equal to zero and find the restriction. And the first one is x cannot be zero, we already have that. But I also have to set x plus four cannot equal zero. And so then uh, negative four is the other one. Let me just say this in English, sorry. All right, you cannot yell out zero because four divided by zero, okay, is an error. Five divided by zero is an error. Okay, you cannot yell out negative four because if you plug in negative four right here and add four, that'll give you zero and then the whole bottom is zero. So those are your two restrictions. Okay, we're gonna use this same method. I'm telling you, the LCD method is the way to go. All right, what factors do I see in the denominator? I see a factor of X, I gotta have it. All right, look, I see X again, but I already have it accounted for. I see a factor of X plus four, I want it. And look, X is already accounted for, so I don't need to write another X. This is your LCD. Probably the biggest battle, honestly, is figuring out that LCD. So when in doubt, just include all factors. Okay, all factors in the denominator anyway. Okay, once you get that um, LCD, we're gonna multiply by LCD, we're gonna multiply by LCD, and we're gonna multiply this other one by LCD. Okay, and I know this is kind of annoying that I'm writing it like this, but honestly, um, I think it'll make it easier because remember what we're doing we are multiplying by X times X plus 4 But we want to cancel first So if I multiply by X X plus 4 the X's are going to drop out you're left with this 4 and an X plus 4 In English the only thing that cancels is the X and this X Okay in the middle after the equal sign look X cancels into X and X plus 4 cancels So you're just left with this 1 and then over here, I'm gonna put the five down. The only thing that cancels is the X and the X, so you're left with X plus four. Um, not the prettiest way to do it, but hopefully you guys follow what I was doing, you know, to get to this point. If your LCD was correct, then you'll get an equation here with no fractions, okay? And that is the name of the game. And let me pause for just a second, make sure this thing's running okay. Um, Okay, and now all I gotta do is just distribute and finish. So we've got 4x plus 16 equals 1 plus 5x plus 20. You're going to get like terms together. We got a 1 and a 20. So let me go ahead and combine that and we get 5x plus 21. Subtract 5x, subtract 5x. I get negative 1x plus 16 equals 21. Subtract 16, subtract 16, negative 1x equals 5, divide by negative 1, and x is negative 5. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, thank you for reminding me. We got to make sure that negative 5 is not a restriction. So remember, our restriction is we can't, we can call out any number we want, but we cannot call out 0. Any number we want, we cannot call out negative 4. Well, we got a negative 5, so we're good to go. That's a viable solution. Hey guys, have fun with that. See ya.